In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how to calculate uh, probabilities from the standard normal distribution in R. Recall that the standard normal distribution, or random variable z, that follows a standard normal distribution has mean 0 and standard deviation 1. So let's begin with one of the straightforward probability problems that we've tackled so far in class, such as the probability that z is less than 1.5. To do this, if we draw the picture, we know what we want. We want the area under this standard normal curve to the left of 1.5. But we can't use the 6895 99.7 rule to do this because we are one and a half, not one or two, standard deviations above the mean of zero. So we need to go to software to do this. And R makes this very simple. And what we're going to use, we're going to use a function called pnorm to calculate this in R. And this function calculates probabilities, so that's what the P stands for, from the normal distribution. And it has three basic arguments. The first one is Q, which stands for quantile from the normal distribution. For us, that's 1.5. That's the cutoff that you're using. Next, it wants you to specify the mean, which for us is going to be 0, and the standard deviation, which is 1. And if you type this into R and hit zero, uh, Enter, you will get your probability out. So let's go to R Studio and do this. So we have P norm, 1.5, mean of 0, standard deviation of 1, and we find that the probability that a standard normal random variable is less than 1.5 is about 0.933. Now, what if we didn't want a lower tail area? What if instead we wanted something along the lines of the probability that z is greater than, let's say, 2.33? Well, to do this, let's draw the picture again. And what this is going to be is we have our mean of 0 here. And we're looking for the area above 2.33 on this normal curve. So that's that upper tail area that we're looking for right here. And we can still use the same function. But notice before, we were talking about a lower tail area. And now we're talking about an upper tail area. And this is where knowing that the total area under the curve is 1 is helpful. So we can go to R again. And knowing that the total area under the curve is 1, we know to calculate an upper tail area, we do 1 minus p norm in what we want. So 2.33 mean 0, standard deviation of 1. And that gives us our upper tail area of approximately 0 0.01.